Hello boys and girls, a quick improvised tutorial today on how to set up Voodoo for healers. Let me first say that there's many other add-ons out there that you can use, but this is the one that uh, fits me best. Uh, so if you want to use something else, you have to find other ways to configure it. I've also tried to use the default blizzard flame frames, which are pretty good, but they're missing a few things that I'll probably mention in this video later on. So uh, that's why Voodoo is my weapon of choice. So uh, let's get started. Open Voodoo by just clicking the icon or typing uh, slash Voodoo in the chat and you're presented with the setup panel. The first thing that uh, you can do is uh, you can go to panels and then from here you can, for example, choose sizing and change the sizes of the bars uh, there's all kinds of uh, other different things that you can do show class color solid color gradients whatever fits you but the easiest way to do that is to actually find a profile that you like so somebody did this work for you already and you can just import it you can do that by going to the tool section and then clicking the import button and pasting the string over here after that it's going to appear in this drop down menu you can just select it don't forget to click apply, otherwise uh, nothing happens. And you can even preset on what group size to activate different profiles. So you can find my profile, which is basically the Grouse or Yumi TV's uh, profile on the Discord linked in the description of the server uh, video. So uh, you can just import it straight away and you're go going to get something looking similar to this. So once you have the profile set up, the next thing to do is display some icons that you want to see on the bars. Uh, in order to do that, you have to go into panels and then you have to select hot icons over here. Now, this presents you with this drop down menu, which uh, you can use to select different spells. So uh, at first place, I'm going to display Riptide. On second place, I'm going to display Tidal Waves, which obviously is going to be only visible to me because nobody else is going to get that proc. On third place, it's a shield and so forth and so forth. So if you see, if I click... Um, Riptide here on this bar, you can see there's a Riptide ticking. I have two stacks of Tidal Waves and there is an Earth Shield already cast. You can also see the cooldown timers once those spells or buffs expire. So you can select and customize everything that you want to do over here by just selecting the spells that you want to see. You can also position them in a different uh, place according to this bar and uh, as I said, Tidal Waves is something specific to the Shaman and you might want to show something else for different classes and different bars on this position. So in this case, you can use something that's called Bouquets. So uh, in order to access them, you go to the General and you go to the very last section over here, which is called Bouquets. And uh, you can see a one that uh, I have created for the Paladin to show the different uh, beacons in the same place because obviously you don't run all of them. Uh, at the same time but if i switch talents or i'm casting them different people i would like to see them on the same position on the bars so the bouquet is basically a combination of several different spells and only one of them will be shown on the bars in uh, the order that they're added to the bouquet so you can create your own you can press add or remove here to add more spells etc or you can again import something uh, that is coming from let's say wagu.org io or some other website so uh, right now i'm going to uh, import this one which is something called personal defensives uh let's see if this one popped over here uh obviously didn't let me try this again uh improvising as i said oh uh, i pressed export this is why it didn't happen so you have to press import right uh you have to say okay and then uh, once you import it, you see that the personal defensives is now available over here. Uh, now, this is a long list that somebody made. Uh, it includes every, basically every single defensives that every single class has, no matter if you're a Shaman, Paladin or something else. So, uh, as you can see, uh, the Ancestral Shift is somewhere here as well, since we're on a Shaman right now. So, uh, now that I have this imported, I can go back into the panel section with the hot icons. And, let's say over here, I can look for a uh, the bouquet instead of a single spell. So, uh, you can select the personal defensives here. And now, if you, uh, let's say, pop your Ancestral Shift, as you can see, this is now displayed in the bars as well and using an importing pre-made 
bookcase is going to actually make your life much easier because now I have basically a hundred spells in just one slot and no matter what class is playing and what buttons people are pressing I will be able to see those uh, somewhere on the bars. Right, so far so good. And then there's one last thing that I want to show you uh, that people keep asking me about. How do you show the debuffs? Right now I'm not in a group and there's no uh, harmful spells cast on me. But how do you sh show all the debuffs here? Now there's two ways to do it. One way is to add them customly spell by spell, which is very, very hard. You can do that by going to debuffs and custom. But the easiest way is to go to the debuff standard panel and uh, unselect everything here. You don't want to ignore anything for a, a starter and then press this checkbox over here this is very important so this is going to show every debuff on every player on every bar by default this is uh, something that I prefer to use instead of adding them one by one, by one I want to see everything by default and let's say then there's a very unfriendly debuff that you don't want to see um, the Argent tournament buffs for whatever, or debuffs I should say, or uh, let's say um, something that the Warlocks pop, or the debuff that Evokers get when they uh, cheat that, etc. Right? If you don't want to see those, once they pop up, you can set up a ignore list modifier. So mine is Control Shift and uh, right click. So uh, if I, uh, or I think it's left click, but if I see a debuff here that I don't like, I can just Control Shift and uh, left click on my mouse this is going to be added to the ignore list and I'm not going to see it anymore right uh, as you can see there's a whole bunch of things that I have uh, added here already uh, that I don't care about and uh, more things pop up because now you see basically everything more things will pop up and more things you can just easily add to the ignore list so you don't have to uh, bother with them anymore um, so this is a very quick tutorial. As I said, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comments below. Uh, my profile and some of the bouquets you can also find on the Discord server. And uh, for everything else, just let me know. Hopefully, this is helpful to you. Happy healing, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care.